Hi, how is everybody doing out there? Today is the Wednesday, the June 26th. I'm now still at the office uh, doing this little video. I wish to talk about what is actually causing the high ferritin level in thalassemia major patients. Now, I know what you are thinking. Of course, it's caused by the regular long-term blood transfusion that thalassemia patient had received over the years that build up the iron overload that result in the high iron ferritin level or the chelations uh, the patient should have is not enough the dosage or the the amount of uh, chelators or the chelation is not itself is not enough it's not suitable for the patient the patient should add in different chelations if you are thinking that uh, you might be half correct half wrong 50 50 so what is actually causing the high uh, ferritin iron level that you can do to actually like prevent it uh, from getting high today i actually have my the uh, cross match uh, because friday is my transition day so i was talking to the doctor assistant the staff does uh, because she was reviewing my reviewing my past uh, these few months, this uh, HP hemoglobin level result and also my ferritin level, because uh, she was mentioning my last transfusion, uh, the pre-transfusion hemoglobin is a bit low because I told her remind her that I have a high fever, so oh, yeah, about seven point eight. It's not that low though. Uh, should be much some people patient seven point something always but uh, normally it's like eight point something nine but she mentioned uh he will sure talk about my culate uh this uh, iron level is always the, around that uh 2200 from the last time so she mentioned my iron level should be could be a, a lot lower if i could maintain my the uh, pre-transition hemoglobin to the level at 9 at least at 9 or above 9 meaning your pre-transition HP should be 9 meaning 8 point something is not enough 7 point something is even worse so in order to do that I have to first come for more transfusions uh, common sense tell me maybe one week earlier to build, build up that uh, after transition HP even though after um, the next transfusion, the HP2 can maintain it at 9. So when you reach that level above 9, you have less chance of having a high ferritin iron level. Meaning your body actually absorbs yeah, absorb less of the iron from the blood if your hemoglobin is already high at the beginning. So if your hemoglobin is low, uh, the body absorb more kind of uh, iron uh, from the blood you receive. That's why uh, it's hard to make it lower, even though the other option is the increase in calculation, uh, which is uh, out of the point for a patient like me uh, having SJ, because SJ are already on the, the maximum, I think, three tablets for my body weight. So I wouldn't go any further. If I want to reduce, I have to add in another Q liter like L1 or Dashra, which in the beginning I chose Dashra because I want to get rid of the Dashra, so I wouldn't want to do that. For those who are taking SJ, uh, for those, there's a simple way to like uh, not increase so much for those. Uh, your iron level is to just maintain your hemoglobin above the 9 limit uh, suggested that uh, then you will have less chance of uh, getting more iron caused by the bl blood transfusion it's actually not actually caused by the uh, blood transfusion it's caused by uh, your hemoglobin level one of them so that was what I was told so hope this video helps and thanks for watching